Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Justin and I got a cool video for you guys today. Now we're not the first guys to do it. There was the Mosin Crate channel and Forgotten Weapons did a video on these Russian and also German exploding World War II rounds. Now these here are painted purple. The guy who sent them to us um, had to paint them a different color so they wouldn't get mixed up with other rounds but they the Russian PZ 54R PZ rounds usually came with a red tip so if you're wondering why it's purple it was just painted that way so they didn't get mixed up uh, anyways he sent us these which we really appreciate it now on those other two channels they did really good videos forgotten weapons went into an explanation if you guys want to know more about them um, these were spotter incendiaries and then the um, snipers kind of thought, hey, these things are pretty cool, um, can do a lot of damage. So these can go off on hard or soft targets. Um, and they have eight parts in them, which you can see in this picture right here. So there's a lot to these little rounds. You gotta be careful, you can actually drop them. I've heard of them going off. And uh, so you just gotta be very careful with them. Now, on the other two channels, um, they didn't have a high-speed camera set up, but again, they did good videos. What we're gonna do is a couple little different things than they did. So what we got here is we got some ballistic gel, and I put these thin um, steel plates in them. They're not armor at all, just thin plate to help make it go off uh, once it starts ripping through the, the gel. Then we got um, a three wick candle here it's not you know they're obviously um, not too hard but hard enough I just want to see what it'll do to this candle since I don't have any ballistic soap like they had on forgotten weapons but then we're gonna try it on some water now this is really thin cheap glass here but we're gonna have five gallons of water in here and uh, just see what it all looks like on the uh, high speedish camera I should say it's our Kronos 1.4 um, it's not a phantom someday we'll get there but anyways we're gonna get set up and uh, get this going for you guys so hang tight here we go all right sending the 54 PZ Russian exploding rounds and it's a ballistics gel out of my Chinese Mosin and for you purists out there as the stock was already destroyed so I replaced it with this one the synthetic one and removed the bayonet I'm gonna cut it short but we'll show you guys later all right here we go Nice, I knocked the plate out of it. <laughs> Those are some wicked cool rounds. So you saw in the slow motion, which is awesome. Um, they're hitting a little high. He had zeroed in the rifle. He aimed for dead center, but he hit right here. But check this out. This is a path right here in the ballistic gel and you could see where it just exploded. And then where we had our first plate, it blew it out. And then here is the round what's left of it in the ballistic gel and then this is what it it did to the plate so it still went through the ballistic gel hit this plate I mean I can't imagine getting hit with this thing that would be nasty man so all right we're gonna do the candle next and just see what it does to this candle so here we go all right now it's time for the candle in the wind as you can tell it's a little blowy outside right now Dang, that was cool. Clear. So the high-speed camera didn't capture it, but it actually blew through the candle first and then went off. Um, you can see right here and here, even left some of the purple paint. But this piece was there like that. 
and the candle came apart once it hit somewhere around here. But So it looked like when it passed through the candle, uh, it went off somewhere here. I don't know if it's because it hit the dirt or something, but um, uh, that was pretty cool, man. These are cool rounds. So the next one we're going to get set up for now is the fish tank and see how it reacts to uh, hitting a fish tank full of water. So here we go. All right, so I'm kind of glad the wind is blowing this way, so that way we won't get completely misted in water and glass, but good to go. All right, I'm going to get him right to the dome piece. At least try. I totally got hit with glass. Jeez. Okay, I think I found my new favorite round. This thing is awesome round. You saw it explode on the glass and he hit right, I'd say around the cheekbone of our little skull there and it just destroyed everything. Um, made it all the way through the 10 gallon tank. I said five, it was actually 10 gallons. Just blew all the way through that. Blew our little skull dude apart everywhere. Cool. All right, well, we're going to do something else here. Because this ballistic gel was so cool. We're going to do the gel again since it didn't damage or hit the second plate. So we're going to see this thing going through this gel and hitting this second plate because we got one more round so why not use it for you guys <laughs> so Justin take it away <laughs> all right let's smack this ballistics gel one more time Dang. Clear. Those are some strange rounds, man, but very cool. Um, it went all the way through it. He hit right down here. And check out just the black. There was no plate here at this second one, but just, can you imagine that stuff? Part of it came back here and then you can see right here, it didn't go through the second plate. It had to go through about 10 inches of um, gel, but let's peel this back and see what we got. <laughs> That's cool. So right there, that's just the back of the uh, projectile stuck in it. All right, these are cool rounds, man. I really like these. Have to get some more, do some different tests for sure. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to sign up for our Patreon page. Again, we can use all the support we can get, getting all these rounds, buying all this gel and stuff. We do appreciate everything you guys do for us. And just watching, we really appreciate it. So. Thanks everybody and we'll be back.